All right, let's talk about some other ways you can connect with quantum healing this week and try to get moving so we don't go over today. We'll do some other live clearings and a giveaway. Make sure you're present to win. Shadow energy and lower self. This is, we were talking about all those layers. Every time we push something down, it creates a new layer on top. That's really what shadow energy. It's like the rug where we just dust it under the rug and we don't want to deal with it. With this session, I work to clear all of this energy so we can see the root causes. And if they're ready to heal and let your body's ready to let go, we work on those. Very deep, powerful session. It also works on reclaiming the lower parts of yourself that maybe you've discarded. Many of us have parts of ourselves that we have rejected. And for us to come into wholeness and unity within ourselves, we have to connect and reclaim all parts of ourselves, even the parts that we are embarrassed about, ashamed about, don't like about ourselves, and bring them into healing. So much of the time that's happened with our inner child. We, Our inner child feels completely lost and discarded. We have to go pick up that like broken, sad part of ourselves and bring it back into our heart energy so that it can be healed and restored. We can't keep running from the shadows and the darkness. The only way to heal it is to go through it. So this session is meant to support you in that journey. Next one is heart walls and trapped emotions. This is really your key to gratitude and abundance at the root, root, root level. It starts with our heart. Most of us have been so beat down and burdened and we've had all of these traumas happen to us that we have built walls around our heart. These walls prevent us from being able to give and receive love, but also give and receive anything for that matter. So it really starts with heart walls and even our spiritual gifts. If you're working in alignment with the light, your spiritual gifts originate from your heart space. So if you want to become a better healer or whatever your spiritual gifts are, a better artist, the key to this is working with an open heart. How do we do that? We break down the walls and we do it with this session. Often clients release hundreds of heart walls in one session. If you connect with emotion code, usually they say that it takes six to eight sessions and a thousand dollars or more to release one heart wall. Do the math. If we're releasing hundreds of heart walls, including inherited, absorbed, past life in one session for $77, or you can level it up and make it a four-day session. Add three days to your session by leveling up. Is it worth it? Do you want to keep playing small and dabbling in the little grains of sand healing, or are you ready to come with the big guns over here in the depths where we take care of business? Next session is utilizing supplements and nutrients. Let's talk about the importance of expanding our nutritional pathways. As we level up, we activate more of our DNA, we heal. These old pathways are no longer serving us. I find that most people, including myself, my family, are not properly utilizing our nutrients because we're shifting, we're growing, we're expanding, we're leveling up, which means we're expanding our consciousness, bringing more light into our body, Thus, we need to expand our nutritional pathways. That 100% level isn't going to cut it anymore because our bodies are requiring more. On average, in the collective right now, most people are only utilizing 26% of their nutrients. That's it. So you're taking supplements. Think you're only getting 26% on average taking in all the healthy foods that you could think of, it's not getting into your body. So if you're ready to bring back your body's ability to utilize your nutrients, expand your pathways to the level that's for your highest good, this is your session. 